Hi, I'm Nick Perdomo, President of Perdomo Cigars, and in this video, I'm going to give you some excellent reasons why you should never remove this band right here off your cigar until it's absolutely ready. So I'm going to grab a cigar here. I'm going to grab the Perdomo 12-year double-aged vintage, and you can see the ban that was placed on the cigar. And one of the main reasons why I believe you shouldn't take the band off the cigar is once the operator puts this band on, she puts it on very tight so the band doesn't slip. And she's going to take this pectin, this adhesive, and she's going to put her finger and manually she's going to put it alongside the actual band. When she places the band over the top, you could always get a small amount of that pectin that actually touches the wrapper. So if you peel this wrapper off, especially with a cigar that has that's cold, that hasn't been smoked yet, when you pull up and take the band off, a lot of times a piece of that wrapper could come along with the band because it could have a slight amount of adhesive on it. So you want to be very careful and that's one of the reasons I believe you shouldn't take the band off, especially on a cold cigar. Another thing that happens too is when you take that band off, when you lift it up, let's say the wrapper didn't come off or pieces of the wrapper didn't come off, it produces stress cracks because it was so tight on that wrapper that when you lift up, it's almost like you're peeling parts of the wrapper and you get these little fine stress cracks like I said earlier, you can't even see them. When you light that cigar, of course naturally because you're providing, putting heat on the foot of that cigar the leaves are going to expand and a cigar like this it's a 56 ring gauge is going to expand upwards to a 58 ring gauge and because of that if you have any splits they're going to get bigger and that's when you start seeing cracks and tears on the wrappers and it makes your smoking experience not nearly as enjoyable as it could have been so my rule of thumb is called the pinky rule and what I like to do is I like to take my pinky and let's say about a quarter inch off I like to smoke the cigar to about a quarter inch from the band and I know that the pectin is going to melt perfectly and then that band will slide off. And speaking of fingers, if you could do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button for me, it would help us out very much. And once that pectin melts, that band will come off easily and you'll be able to enjoy your cigar much better. So just be a little bit patient on the band and I think those are the reasons that you should never take the band off a cigar. Naturally, some of our cigars even have a foot band. So for example, this is a Perdomo Habano Maduro. So we put this foot band traditionally because we think it's beautiful and it'll say Maduro on it. Naturally, this band is placed much differently than this band that's very taut on the, the actual cigar. This will actually slide. And you can either slide the band off or you can peel it off and nothing will happen to the foot. It actually protects the foot, but it's applied with much less pressure. So always take your foot band off, of course. If you're interested in seeing how we band our cigars, check out this video from our Perdomo Factory Tour Series.